15-minute chart. They're going to report their quarterly earnings here in a minute. Apple ended up 93 cents on the day. And this is where we're printing. This is a 15-minute after-hours chart. And we're waiting on the number. We're still waiting right here on this 15-minute chart. Uh, is Apple and we can see that the report is due out any minute and there are a few shares that are trading that this is a 15 minute daily chart so that we can see exactly a -A what pop uh, how it moves or goes down in that of course okay here we are at 147.80 by 147.94 they haven't come out with the report. We're still on standby. I want to point out the money flow of 286,618,928. That is the money flow that was the purchase at the close. That's over a quarter million dollars. All right, we have something going on live right here. We have a 145 by a 146. This is the big red bar that I'm going to show you on the knee-jerk reaction on Apple computer right here. You can see that huge move down to 145.50. So we're going to watch this activity and you can see that we popped right up and we're ripping. So we got hit down here at the bottom at 146.25 and it's 146.40 right now. And we will have tight stops if needed. But I just want to point out how fast that we went down. And this is live and after hours. And you can see that we were already 40 plus million shares. Hey, one thing about this movement right here, if you take a look at it, it is moving. And we will get some other information for everybody. But you can see how fast that this thing is ripping. And we're watching that volume here. Here's that really super big red bar. This is what we're working with right here. We're printing 145, 50, 80, 90, almost 146 and some change in the after a -A hour markets with our traders who are buying the dips and selling the rips. And I'm going to get back to that report on Apple computer that is ripping all over. You can see that big red mark come down here to the lows, and it did. And the, that low and the high, that's pretty big volatility for Apple. But you can see with the knee-jerk reaction and the volume, you can see the prints going off live. You can see where people are buying at the lows on that knee-jerk reaction down here, and we did the same thing. So here is the low in after hours. That was 145.20 in that wick. And we shot up though to 148.36. And we're back right in here. And we're still holding it. We're going to find out information. I'm going to update everybody and the Apple lovers of the world. And the money flow on that closing bell was 286 million. That was a lot. Here we are printing 145, 30, 145, 30. I'm going to find out on that data. One of the things that I'm going to talk about is that Apple has a increases their share purchase authorization of 210 billion from 175 billion level announced a year ago. So basically, they're giving a quarterly dividend increase in Apple. One of the things I want to talk about is the actual knee-jerk Q3 revs of 43.5 to 45.5 billion versus the 45.6 billion capital IQ consensus estimates. It sees gross margins between 37.5% and 38.5%. Let's get some more data that will help everybody. Just watch these prints printing big and fast. That's that knee-jerk reaction. Right what we have here on the uh, Q2, like I said, 2.10 uh, versus 2.02, capital I2 consensus estimate. Revs, once again, 52.9 billion versus 53.08 billion capital I2 consensus estimates. 
So as we get down into the nitty gritty, we're going to go over this with our trader base and how and what we're going to do with it. We're printing all over. We're over now 141 million shares. Yeah, so 41 million shares plus the iPhone was at 50.8 million versus 52. That's a little bit weak. We have the iPad at 8.9 million versus 9.6 million uh, estimates that's weak company reported their q2 max of 4.2 million versus 4.2 million estimates versus 4.0 million in the same quarter last year so some of these numbers are not as stellar that you would want to have we have totally ran up this stock to all-time highs and once again, when we take a look at these channel checks, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, they're going to issue downside guidance for Q3, sees Q3 revs of 43 to 45 billion. All right, downside guidance. I'm hearing downside guidance. They beat by eight cents, but the revs are only in line and misses on the iPhone. Uh, iPhone to guide Q3 uh, revs just below the consensus. Now, here's the deal. Increases buyback and dividend to 10.5% to 0.63 uh, per share. So basically what I'm saying, as we get more information, uh, we're going down for a reason. This thing was priced to perfection. And once again, you know, buying the rip and selling it, Tomorrow, we're going to have extreme high volume. We're already at 41 million shares plus up here. You can see that we're printing down here on this big red bar, which just so happens to be what? A 15-minute chart. I don't think the Apple lovers are going to like exactly what happened here. And I'm telling you, there is a downside guidance for Q3, period. And some of the other things missed. End of the story. Good luck, Apple, and good luck to the people that bought it. We are trading it, but we're fast traders, and we're going to look and see what the put options and call options look like tomorrow. That concludes our first report.